Hi everyone. So the painting I'm doing today is Scientist Cradle's Artist. I think a lot about the sympathy and relationship between the sciences and the arts, um, how they've together created our society and represent sort of the highest point of human creativity in tandem. Um, in some ways they seem extremely different, but there's a great degree of overlap in terms of mentality and purpose. So I decided to kind of make a lyrical little picture about that. Two, actually, the next video is going to be about um, an artist cradling a scientist, and I'll walk through as I do. All right, let's go. So as usual, uh, the painting begins with a very broad pencil layout, uh, focusing in on one head is uh, how I got started, and then kind of working out towards the embrace. I knew that um, the theme was pretty set in my head, scientist cradles artist, artist cradles scientist, and so the embrace was the central thing. Getting a little bit of characterization, you know, how is this guy a scientist? How stereotypical is this going to be? How archetypal? Um, is he going to be nerdy? Is it racially specific? How old is he? Um, all of that was in mind as I was, as I was working through this drawing here. And the nature of their connection. So you can see at this point um, the hands uh, in totally different dispositions. One rested over his head as if though he's really thinking about the artist that is cradling. Maybe she's his girlfriend, his wife, uh, lover, muse, however we want to look at it. And the other hand is, you know, casually placed over her shoulder. And then there's a lot of replacement to make sure that everything is working proportionally, um, that at the same time as you have that tight feeling of embrace, there's also a feeling of openness, which is important, and also playfulness. Like you can see that I'm rendering the legs and the feet of the artist character up behind the scientist. So they're kind of snuggling on a bed or a couch and in unusual positions as they're getting comfortable um, in a dormitory. That's what I started thinking about with this, that these began as very sort of allegorical symbolic characters and then I wanted to bring them right down to earth and place them in a dormitory, imagining that you have one, a science student or a pre-med student and the other a painting student or a design student. So at this point, I'm working out the costumes, figuring out hair, um, how are the patterns and differences between those two creating a more interesting picture, uh, representing her clothing here as uh, maybe a little more advanced, a little more bold. His is flatter, more like scrubs. And then tightening muscles, um, making sure that there's a distinction between joints. Um, at this point, I'm going over the uh, sort of graphite areas with a dead pen line uh, just to get all of my blocked out areas and um, I'll start throwing in color in a moment. Um, so there, sort of a pink background. Just thinking about atmosphere, darkening the characters in the foreground, using that kind of traditional one-two, light to dark moving forward, and thinking of some unusual base coloring for my characters. Um, I often find that rather than going for a very realistic flesh tone or you know a racially or ethnically suggestive flesh tone i tend to just kind of fly all over the place uh, just to keep it open sometimes i make characters more androgynous sometimes i make their age very non-specific i think it's interesting when they become general and more iconic so at this point you can see that i'm really playing with a, a broad swath of color there are two distinct palettes one is the cool palette that i'm using for the scientist character one is the kind of warmer denser and more patterned palette that I'm using for the artist character. And I'm really thinking about how am I going to unify at this point. So you can see that I've thrown over some gray washes on top of the two to create that area of connection between them. She represents a kind of colorful sort of low hanging or sort of underhang for the entire picture. The way that her body um, rests at the bottom of the picture frame and also just rests physically beneath his arm. Um, it's deeply colored and uh, set in shade. It's not really allowed to be as brilliant as it would be. Uh, so kind of playing with that metaphorical idea. But you do see that little slice of pink in the right, in her right arm and um, the fabric falling over it. So at this point, I'm bringing it to a final. I'm figuring out what are the sort of hard accent distinctions between the two characters. I found that big area of black, uh, did some light color outlines. Um, through in those outlets in the back to act as a kind of metaphorical parallel to my characters. Um, you know, two outlets, science and art, and these two characters 
sort of gazing at each other, thinking about one another. And that's it. That wraps it. Um, scientist cradles artist. So the next video is artist cradles scientist using the same characters since I enjoyed how these two came out. And um, if you want to follow me, subscribe. You can find me at Miles Lewis Art on Instagram, mileslewisstudio.com uh, is my website. Thanks for watching. See you next time.